Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel in West Hill, in the West Hill River Inn, which we've been building over the last couple of weeks. And everything inside is done. We are now working on the gardens and the grounds and the pathing and stuff outside. So we'll be focusing on this today, picking up where we left off yesterday. And I'm hoping to get more of the flowers in. I need to tackle uh, how this tree and wall is going to interact and if it's going to continue past here and if I'm going to add another path in and around the back which I may or may not I'm not sure so we'll figure that all out it's all part of the process oh boo cosmic dancer blast Jordan good to see y'all hope you're having a good day I guess we can turn off the fancy cam save myself some frame rates Back to 75. We hope. We hope, we hope. Uh, clean inventory. That's a good start. Let's focus on, I guess, the lower walls here. And we'll get some of that done. And it was Azalea. Sorry, acacia leaves and azalea leaves that were making their best kind of combinations, I think. We might have to go get more of those. Kelberti, hello, good to see you. Also, who was here from Munich? I saw that. From, was it? Was it? Hello, eighty-eight from Munich. Are you on vacation, or are you from Munich? Sorry if I should know that. <clears throat> I've never been to Europe. I would very much like to go at some point. Oh, you live in Munich. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I guess I should have known that. All right, we need rose bushes and poppies, I guess. Oh, we need a lot more rose bushes. Unless I have more in the other flowers. We'll go see. Well, we'll take a couple stacks of those. And it looks like we just have to hit it with more bone meal. So I'll just bring those back out. Jade XMC, hello. How's it going? Welcome in. I imagine that'll do. And we'll need some coarse dirt. No problem, Jade. I will worry about the pathing later. I think I'll just leave it as regular path for now. To look weird down here yeah whoops although that's a cool idea too now that i think about it
You know, we did some stuff on grass. I guess that's fine. Actually, maybe we'll try moss. I guess maybe I should check to see where these special flowers end up being and maybe lean on those so it'll be more dense. And now I'm going to need to go get some mossy cobble and mossy bricks, I think. Just saw this as a chill place to listen while I prepare materials for your build. Yeah, that's, yep. Yeah, that's kind of par for the course. I like to think I have a pretty chill stream. Uh, mossy that, mossy that. And I still think my shulker boxes are now louder than normal. I haven't uninstalled the audio mod. It's disabled, but I, I think it's still affecting stuff somehow. Actually, what I can do, I should show you guys what that is. Mods. So it's called Sound Physics Remastered. And if I enable it, listen to how echoey the shulker boxes are. That work? Maybe it didn't save. Well, it seemed to work. I don't know if I have any caves nearby that I can go into. If I go downstairs, I think it works. Yeah, you hear the echo? Weirdly, it doesn't seem to do it on chests. It's cool, but it gets a little repetitive sometimes. You don't hear any game sounds? There should be some. Oh, I'm not hearing. Yeah, you're right. It's not. Was it working before or has it been dead this whole stream? Can anybody confirm whether the sound has not been working the entire stream? Full stream. Wow. Okay. Hold on. That's not good. Let's disable that. Why is the sound not working? Uh, did it work yesterday? No, computer sound is not down. I can hear everything just fine. Oh, I wouldn't have had any... Have I had no sound on all of my Minecraft streams the last, like, three days since we updated to 1.20.4? I didn't even notice. No one said anything. And now it's... Properties... Well, that's annoying. Hold on. No, there's nothing wrong with the settings in the game. The game is fine. I've not done any 
nothing nothing here has changed because I wouldn't be able to hear it if that was the case. It's OBS that's not capturing. For some reason. All right, I'm going to try to add another audio thing then, I guess. Audio capture, Minecraft AAC. Hold on, folks. Does it need to be beta? No, oh, that's not going to work. Still nothing. It's not showing up on my volume meters here either. It looks like it just ch like OBS changed my audio settings, maybe. Nope, that's not working either. The mics are not, my mic's not down. People can hear me just fine. Why can I not capture the audio on Minecraft? The only thing I did was update Minecraft. It shouldn't have changed any of my OBS settings. Going out to all the tracks. Well, that's annoying. Do you have a separate source for Minecraft and OBS? Yes. I've got two now. Neither of them are working. All right, let's just try something to see if OBS is the problem. want to put I think I might sacrifice so that is the same audio capture capturing chrome and it's working just fine so it's got something to do with the audio not capturing minecraft for whatever reason
try rebooting. I don't know why that would matter. I don't know why it can't capture, it can capture Chrome, but it can't capture my Minecraft audio. I mean, I can switch over and capture my computer audio, but then you'll get everything. Did the audio output device in Minecraft's settings change? Oh, you heard that, didn't you? So weirdly, I had to change the OBS plugin and then I had to change, then I had to reboot Minecraft. Now I'm hearing like double streams. Hold on. Uh, this can get deleted. Sorry about the technical stuff, folks. Sometimes it's just part of the job. This is still... I just need to turn off the monitor. Y'all can hear that? That's good. Noises. Well, I guess lessons for anybody that wants to stream for a job. <laughs> Expect interruptions. And yeah, I don't know why, but it feels like my... Um, My shulker box noises are louder than normal. Anyway, if I turn this on. They don't seem to do it anymore. But if I go back underneath the inn here. I know my, my game is ducked by a decibel, but it's not. It's still going to be something you can hear. Right? So listen to this trapdoor. Can you hear the echo? Are you even a streamer if you don't troubleshoot audio issues? Yeah. I mean, there's worse ones. Yeah, so you can hear the echo? Okay. So that's that's what the, the mod does. But I find it makes the doors sound kind of muffled. And then sometimes these are like... Are a little bit loud, but I I don't know. I can't can't really tell the difference anymore. But I decided to turn it off because I found it distracting. It'd be the kind of thing that would be fun to turn on, like if you were going caving caving or something. Anyway, I really wish I had known that my audio wasn't working the last four streams. That would have been good to know. Now I've got to go put a notice on all my YouTube videos. Uh, right. This is what I was doing. The VOD from yesterday has game sounds? Really low? I just checked it and it didn't have any. Or maybe I clicked on six. I don't remember what I, I just watched one as a test. Maybe I checked the wrong one. It's kind of the same. 
what other thing? Burn, maybe? Yeah. I think I'll change that to a moss block, though. Yeah, I think that's substantially grown in. The last four vids all had sound? Maybe I just found a spot where I wasn't doing anything. That was cueing any sound when I did the test. I should have gone to a spot where I was mucking around in the inventory because of course the chests are noisy. Shulka boxes are noisy. Now, what could we put there? Maybe another andesite? Yeah. Hard to judge colors in the dark and the rain. So it doesn't quite feel as dense as I want it to up front. Maybe we should, maybe this one shouldn't have a path going all the way there. Maybe I should stop this here. And then we'll add in Bush blocks here. And maybe I'll add in another fern. Yeah, that's better. That's what I was looking for. Almost. Almost want to change this little poppy into a rose. Oh, come on. No, it was right. I was right the first time. All good. Does this look good on top of the azalea? It does. To give a little bit of variety in there. And then we can turn that into a path like that, which is a lot smaller, a lot easier to deal with. Cool. Okay. So 
Am I happy with the density up here? I want to say yes. Maybe we can switch out this little poppy or a fern. I feel like I want something here. Actually, maybe I'll put that on the end. Sort of looks muddy. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. I'm glad you like it. Seeing as you're the resident king of gardens. Queen of Gardens, Ruler of Gardens, Emperor of Gardens, where do we stop? Grand Puba of Gardens. The, cos the cosmic of gardens? The cosmic ruler of gardens? Yeah, I guess. I'll allow it. So I want this to feel a little bit older. I want it to feel kind of broken down in spots. This is where the azalea might come in a little bit handier because we're far enough away from the roses. Almost use a uh, coarse dirt slab there. Sometimes I forget and I don't put enough just like dirt around.
pretty straightforward. And maybe some opportunities to have a little bit of moss carpet in there. Honestly, we could probably go with a full-on moss block. Makes it feel a little bit more dense. And maybe I could go with muddy roots. Somewhere, I hope, I think. Roots. Yeah, adds a little bit more going on. The nice thing about having these small spaces is that they come together quite quickly. It's great. No, I don't really rate the acacia leaf blocks highly either, but they just, it's because of the green on the roses, they work a little bit better. For anybody that's new this stream, if you compare the green on the acacia to the green on the azalea, for some reason these feel like they go better with the roses. Do I like that? Maybe I want to go the other way. That hides the bush, though. I think a wall might solve the problem.
So this feels a little bit strange. I feel like maybe this should connect over here. Leaving us another thing back here. Maybe a good spot for another bush. Yep, like that. And I still have old bushes up here. Hmm. How do I want to handle this part? Whoops. This is where I'd like to be able to control where the grass goes. It looks kind of silly when it comes over the side of the path a bit. So I'm going to remove this. And this is where we've got some flexibility where I don't have to do the wall here. I can change the wall to suit the path. So if I want the path to be a little bit wider, we can make the wall a little bit farther away. So I'd, ra I'd rather start at the house and move outwards now that I'm out here. Just need to add some texture here. And I guess after that, we have to get a thing about what is going to happen on this hill. I'd like to cover it up a little bit somehow. Now, does that need to go all the way over there? Oh, I don't think I've done the back. I haven't done the back wall. Okay. I'll have to do that first. Welcome back, Lou. Thanks for the lurk, Blast Jordan. Appreciate the the eyeballs, even when you're not eyeballing. Let's just switch this to brick for now. And 
probably gonna have to move it, but we'll see. I think I want a mossy stair somewhere, but I gotta get rid of something here. And I guess depending on what we need to do on the top here, I might be done with the roses for now. I could probably put those away. I guess I need to do that side. So let's go with tough here. And crack bricks. And then I'll do mossy, probably mossy cobble. I feel like I'm going to stomp on these and break them. I know it's not crops, but I have that weird kind of be careful Joel thing going on in my head. I don't know why. Maybe this will just be bricks. Rooster Mug, mentally, good to see you both. I guess we'll put the roses away. That is not as cool as I thought it was going to be.
Oops. That actually is not too bad for a random plug of bone meal. I think that covers most of what you can see. This is a little bit too much, maybe. I think it was B00 on Hermitcraft that was using like pressure plates and buttons around a path. I guess it would be more like here. I guess the place to put them is not where you're gonna walk. You don't make the noise. So here would be a good spot. I wish we had stones like we have. Um, oh, maybe those are too close together. Get rid of this. Wish we had stones like we have um, pink petals. That would be super helpful. So I think, depending on what I want to do here, if this is going to be a stone path instead of a dirt path, I need to make it feel distinct from the wall. And I also need to maybe have enough grass here between the path and the wall. So this is what I mean by I want to make sure that I'm not, this wall is not stuck in the wrong spot. So it might be a good opportunity here to uh, maybe just finish up the flowers on this side. Nothing can go there. I want to keep that clear. All oh, right, I tried that. I tried that last time. What if I switch this up? Same thing. See here we might be able to switch these to azalea because they're not right next to roses. Maybe we can do like a transition. Oh, it's too bright.
I almost want to try to have a little bit of a gutter here. I guess that looks okay. Sure you don't want the clicky clicky noise every time you want to walk in the bath? No. Pretty sure I don't want that. Pretty sure. So what are we going to do here? I guess... Rosebush? I don't really have many roses up against the house. Maybe we'll do another fern. That's okay. Now, this all goes down from brick into granite. How do we want to handle this? Tough there. Maybe I'll just switch it. This is all azalea, I think. Yeah. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thank you. We'll just stick right to those today. I'm on a bit of a limited time because I'm trying to be a good human and go to the gym. And it can get really busy later in the day. So if you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to zap the coffee, grab a drink. You should too. Grab a friend, grab a snack. I'll be right back.
Well, this looks like fun. Maybe they'll get freaked out and move around. There's four of them. One, two, three, almost had four. Sure, fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not what I was planning. I've got too much stuff out and about right now. Okay. That feels a little bit too broken up. And I was around here. And that's got a weird little sideways bit on it. I guess we can maybe use some of these. Oh, I don't want to block the flowers. If I can get some grass and stuff happening on this side too. I do like this little kind of curve that's happening. I think what I need to do is actually work on what this is going to be and how the bushes are going to move here. Probably something like that. Just feels like it'd be better shorter, closer to the end. I feel like it needs some sort of texture change here. I find too that using a uh, moss carpet along your paths will help give them an edge. Sort of gives you a couple things to walk between. I feel like I like this stone path. Do we want to keep it stone? I guess it would make sense to keep it stone. I might have to work in more broken bits like like tough. Although that's a little bit dark. Maybe that really has to be on the absolute edge. I wonder if smooth stone is just what this needs to make it look just a little bit less finished. Yeah.
It's actually working out faster than I thought. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Go. The mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going, Elkhorn? Elkhorn, one of the folks that streams from Infinity Cove on my patron server. Uh, yes, there is more lighting planned. Uh, I don't think they spawned on the road. I think they spawned in here. So we'll have to figure out what's going on. There's going to have to be some dark spots. I just, I can't avoid that forever. Yeah, I think we have to move this out. So we've got um, one. I think if I pop this out here. Sometimes when you start adding greenery around things, it can inform some block changes, so because I just added a bunch of moss near this, so I'm going to change this to a mossy brick. One, one, two, one, two, three. And then I guess we'll go, maybe we'll go two. It's only here that it has to go out, though. Grab that. Maybe it's here it goes out. One, two, three. If I just bring it out by one, then this becomes this really long straight line. It's not the end of the world. Dan Grice, good to see you. Welcome in, welcome in. If I don't make this as long, we could tighten this up.
Feels like it gets a little bit too thin right here. Oh, I see. Have no real way to avoid that. Oh, then it gets really thin. Really, a lot of the time I just put this grass down and then pick the one that looks the best. Because it's just random as to where it's going to go. We got here now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It does feel strange that it's all sort of connected. Like it's the same texture as the road. Maybe it's because I need to raise it up. What are you thinking for the back garden? So the back garden is going to have a split between, I think, some crops on this side and then like a sitting garden. Or, yeah, it's probably going to be some flowers here, place to sit here, more flowers along the back. And then this is going to be, I think, that'll be grass. will be crops, I guess. I feel like the wood pile would have probably more stuff around it, like more packed dirt and things. So this is just temporary. I might have to move this depending on what we want to put in here. The, the height change helps make it feel a little bit separate, which is nice. I'd like to work in more tough, but it's hard. Let's 
that's pretty good. Oh, maybe not that. Maybe this is a good spot to have uh, one of those pressure plates. Yeah. Do I have no more smooth stone? I have no more smooth stone. The stairs kind of get lost as well. I need to figure out how to make those feel a little bit more um, readable. Like they look okay from here. When you come down, I feel like this bottom part disappears. So maybe we need a little bit more happening in here. It's a little bit better. It's always tough with slabs because we have so few textures. But this is a full block there. I wonder if a wall here would help. I still haven't finished out what we're going to do for that light, so All right, I'll come back to it. A little bit too much the same. All of a sudden, my frame setter is back with reckless abandon. I'm not sure whether that's a server issue or whether it's a client issue. Can't seem to sort it out.
So this is where the path and the rock would actually connect. And I feel like I need to not do that. And I think this is where the path is going to be a little bit tighter to the curve here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, two, and then this weird change. So that's going to flip two. I knew that I had only roughed out the backyard, so I'm not too concerned. Coarse dirt. This is where the map can help a lot too. You can see how how dense and how the garden actually helps the the build kind of meld into the into the countryside like even here right by the road like that area there it kind of blends in Okay, so we need to change this to be a little bit narrower. Um, nope, I think that was fine. Could maybe work in a little bit more mossy cobble. Well, I really like that on the outside, especially next to that. That works out really well. What if do that again and put the cracked over there? Yeah, it's working. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. I guess I should figure out what's happening with this wall. I don't want to put it in front of the windowsill, so it's going to start there. I feel like that's about what I would want. don't know if we're going to go for the full height. I feel like what we had um, on the front was pretty cool. So maybe instead of an arch here, it'll be more open and it won't block the view of the, uh, 
the river. If we go with a couple of these, and now I've got too much in my inventory. Uh, I don't need some of this mangrove jungle. I think I'm done with the acacia for now. I like what we've got out front here with these smooth stone slabs. So I feel like at the back, we could do the same thing. I mean, we could honestly have a, a two wide opening if I wanted to. Ah, feels a little bit big. Plus, then we can put a nice little wooden gate there. I think that'll work. guess we'll just go with the other stuff that we've been using. I don't want to do andesite too close. Looks pretty good. Now, if I put a bush there, is that going to look funny from the inside? Yeah, a little bit. Let's move it up. Whoops. Yeah, keeping it simple. Sure. That was not well done. With the tables and chairs updated now, can we make benches? A bench might look nice in the back garden. I don't think that pack includes benches. The other thing that we were looking at, the um, the another furniture mod, that's the one that has the benches in it. Right, so this is where I think I need to carve this down to there, which means the rock can come back here again.
I want to try and work in another button. I feel like the pressure plate here would be too close to the rock. I mean, we could always move the rock. I like the pressure plate better. Yeah, see this is the path is a little bit too wide here. I was planning back here. Really strange. I know it's a lot of walking back and forth, but that's kind of how I gauge what I'm going to make the changes on. Based on how it feels. It looks like a nice cobbled path, though. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I think I gotta finish the lines here and know where it's gonna end up. So I think this is gonna end up changing. I don't know if those bushes are kind of too far out or not. Now this is probably going to be more dirt than actual stone. I'm thinking like the stone path is going to be meant to take us up to the back gate and then if people were taking a shortcut down there, then that would be more dirt. I'm not sure how I want to structure this. Do I want to do stairs here? Don't have any. That feels a little bit tight. What about... Oh no. No. Man. So many adjustments. Yeah, that doesn't feel like it pushes you too far. This does feel like I walk on it a lot but could be just um i'm backing up to look at stuff i feel like i'm hitting it when i turn around Oh, uh, 
Yeah, I might have to... Oh, no. There, maybe? I do like that, but I'm wondering if it might be better off on the other side here. You know, maybe I don't like that. Oh, no, not there. And that means I can bring this back. Yeah, I feel like that kind of steers you around the corner. Funny how just a, a button pointing in that direction will kind of turn the character when you're walking along. Uh, yeah, it's a blessing and a curse, Cosmic. I get what I want, but it takes a long time. But I think this is the thing where I was like this when I was doing illustration. So I think this is one of the reasons why Minecraft scratches my creative itch so well. So then we could probably have a bit more of a guide for the player to go down this way. Ooh, I kind of like that. Maybe these should both be andesite. So there's a path that goes to the back gate, like that, and then there's also not this way. Do I like that it switches a little bit to the left? Sort of. These might be better off as walls, like I might be better off doing something lower here. That might be cool. We could do, if I have the mini blocks, we could do andesite walls with little mini blocks on top. I know it's a little bit, it's definitely vanilla plus. Smooth stone. So those two or those two. And then... Andesite walls. Lantern might be good too, Low. You're right. Yeah, that's still kind of in your face. I feel like the mini blocks for smooth stone does not look as good as one thinks it's going to. Or maybe it's just that the sprite is deceiving.
I think we go with andesite. I feel like I've had this debate before. Might as well let those stack up. And I guess if that's the case, we sh we have to make those polished. Doesn't really match the front. I think I need to change that too. It feels like there's three on this side because of how light the andesite is. I could see what those look like as polished andesite. Miss Turk, seven, hello. Oh, first time being here live. That's awesome. Normally Twitch gives me like a heads up when someone's new. Welcome in. Put that back for now. can go back we wanted to try polished andesite and I need to remove this one low low bit here it might be better off as just a regular thing like that. Yeah. And then we can try polished andesite, which for my, the completionist brain in me kind of wants the front and the back to match. I like the polished stone better. We can go see what the back's gonna look like if we switched it. I mean, all we have to do is be consistent maybe on the back. Those back. It's not terrible. Yeah, I think we'll go with go with the consistency. I'm flying because I'm hungry <laughs> and I don't want to stop to eat. Just because it's end game and I can. So I'm not sure if you've heard about this on the spawn chunks, uh, Miss Turk, but we've been working on this in. And so the last couple streams, we finished up the inside with all the details, uh, the basement, all that kind of stuff. And then we started yesterday on this front garden and we finished up the front today. And we're now working on this path that wraps all the way around to the back. And... 
think I like it. Like, I think we're good. I think the issue now is making sure it doesn't feel too steep in some places. So I'm kind of wondering whether we want to have like a smaller, like a more gradual step here. This is where I could put a stair maybe. That, or we might be able to get away with it sideways. No. Let's try the other texture. A little bit better. I guess I could do two, couldn't I? Nope, better's one. I think that works. I don't know whether we would put extra walls over here. We might. Uh, we would certainly not have dirt there. This might actually be better off to be uh, different kinds of stone. And we can use that pressure plate trick to kind of guide people to go that way. Kiwi be good, hello, hello. I know Minecraft's been releasing some great things recently, says Miss Turk. So you wouldn't have any shortage of things to say there, I'm sure. Any shortage of things to say. Oh no, on spawn chunks, yeah, yeah, we've been we've been very busy. Uh, we the episodes lately have been well. I don't know what the episode proper's have been. Normally the full recording session for the spun chunks is an hour and 45 minutes. That includes the render distance, but we've been hitting two hours and our render distance generally doesn't get long. So when we hit two hours, that says to me that the average show length has gone from an hour and 15 to like an hour and 25 or an hour and a half for the, for the main show proper. So that usually means we've had a lot to talk about. The mace was definitely one of them. I do feel like I need to throw in some extra dirt along here in some places. I wonder if a dirt slab back here would look good. Pretty covered, not the end of the world.
Yeah, not sure about this tree. This whole side is going to be something entirely different. Let's just replace this with bricks for now. And we are definitely going to need lights out here. So I think the thing to do now, before I texture all of this and keep this where it is and work on this stuff, this is pretty solid. I don't think this is going to go anywhere because I think that anything here would affect the um, would affect the path. So I think all of this is pretty solid. I think the main thing now is, again, like I did over here, starting at the house at the at the inn and working my way out to make sure that this is where I want it to be. And so I think what I need to do now is tomorrow, uh, which is Saturday, Saturday all day long, yeah. Uh, is come in here and we'll work from the inside here and work our way out. And I think one thing here is going to happen is we're going to have somewhere there's going to be another vine, I think, coming up. Something like that, maybe. I'll work on something. Um, but yeah, so I think we need to figure out which part of this is going to be flower garden with a little table and chair, which I don't know if we have one that looks like it, it's outdoor stuff. Maybe we don't. And then how much of this can we turn into like a, pro a crop garden? Like I'm thinking probably some beets and potatoes and carrots and stuff. And it, what's probably going to happen is that this path is probably going to have to swing wide here to the right. So it's probably going to have to like swing wide out here to like a place where you can sit and then swing back around, giving me more room to do the crops. So I'll probably end up working on probably what's ever happening here first and then the crops and that will help us finish up everything in there. But let's take a look with the fancy cam. That's what the front garden looks like now. It looks a little bit sparse when you fly up in the air, but it's not bad. Not bad. I might, I might need a little bit of extra in here. I might want to turn this little section into like a little bed, maybe a couple of poppies or something in that section right there. And of course, we need to finish the texture on the wall, but I needed to know where the wall was going to be before we finish that up. And that's probably going to fade off into something about, like, a, it'll just dribble down into, like, maybe it's been broken down or something. That rock is a pretty natural barrier anyway. But I like the pressure plate button trick. That's a good one. Stolen from B-dubs. b below on Hermitcraft. And then we can do whatever we want with this side. I think what's going to happen here with this path that you can see I've planned down to the river, it's far too steep. So I think this whole hill, I'm going to do the path at the right angle that I want it to be. And then we'll push the hill back to match it so it, it looks smooth. And we'll go from there. And then finally, we'll have this bank done. And then we can connect this bank around to this little feature here and finish that up too. I have no idea what's happening in these spaces. I, I guess a tree. So when I've had wide open spaces like this, normally what I've done is I've just filled it in with like a custom tree Right, and then some custom foliage. And so I think that's what we're gonna have to do. It's time consuming, but it looks good in the end. We could also do another flower field too.
Yeah, but walking up here, I think this feels pretty good. Yeah, a little bit of red right there, I think would go a long way. Or we can go with the uh, the blue A's. We do, I do tend to clip these pressure plates sometimes. This is kind of a fun feature too, like this wrapping up here to go inside the back gate has you looking right at the bridge. So I feel like there should be another path that comes off this way, right? And it's either going to be here or here. And just like that, whenever somebody has the opportunity to take a shortcut, they probably will. So that's probably what's what would happen, right? It'll be dirt just like just like this. So anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap things up. I'm going to pass you along to somebody else streaming some Minecraft. So we'll take a look and see who's live. If you want to follow here on Twitch, I would very much appreciate it. You can also follow on YouTube, Joel Duggan VODs. That's where I put all of the archived videos from the channel and all the progress that we've made. Uh, you can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts. They are available wherever you find your podcasts, as well as YouTube. So that's where you like to listen to your podcasts. You can find us there too. I'll be back tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. And check out the Patreon. If you'd like to join the Discord, which is the community surrounding my podcasting and streaming work, then you can do so either with a Twitch sub, Prime sub, or by a cheaper option, which is Patreon. And that auto renews. You don't have to touch it. Once you set it up, it's all good. And you get auto invited into the Discord. Thanks so much for hanging out, folks. Cosmic, thank you ever so much for the mod help. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye for now.